Five, four, three, two, one. Plap. Janet, I'm coming. I'm coming, girl. I'm coming. I'm coming to the TV screen. I'm coming, bitch. I'm coming. I'm coming. It's time for Janet to meet Joe Jackson. Get your life. Get your life. Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is your boy, Fifty Shades of Feel. Coming back to you guys with another video on Janet's amazing first part of her documentary, Janet, which appeared last night on uh, Lifetime and A&E. You can also stream them there, or if you have cable, or if you have uh, the just the streaming platforms, you can, uh, I guess, stream it on just Philo, uh, if you have that. But yes, guys, I really, really got my life as a Janet Jackson stand like myself, uh, uh, some of which I kind of already knew, but most of which I didn't, which was actually really interesting about this documentary. She taps into a lot because we know that Janet is very private and we know that she never really speaks out about relationships or, uh, or, or things that have happened that she was embarrassed about. We know of which in her book, True You, which uh, I loved. Um, we got a, a hint of things that she revealed but not like on this documentary. So I really respect that Janet really, really took the time out to really do it because it really, really, you know, shed light and it should shed a lot on people that didn't know much about her. But yes, she really opened up a lot about her relationship with James the Barge, which was really, really shocking to me. You know, uh, the stuff about him being on and off drugs. Uh, oh my gosh, she tapped into a lot about, you know, her relationship with her brothers. Uh, we know that uh, her dearly departed brother Michael, who we all love and miss, uh, she, talked, she tapped into a lot about, you know, how their relationship changed throughout the years as her coming up as a kid. She really taps into a lot on this documentary um, and she really really breaks it down you know uh, 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 she shows a lot of uh, oh my god a lot of unreleased footages from her and Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis she shares a lot uh, of stuff about you know how she had visions about certain things and how she made a lot of good friends and how she didn't have many friends coming up she taps into just so much and I'm just so glad that uh, you know she's putting everything on a record she finally broke the barrier about uh, the secret children and you know it was a lot of stuff with Reby Jackson a lot of stuff with Jackie a lot of stuff about Tito you know they just uh, 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 say a lot of good things about her and, but yes y'all I really really got into this first part of the documentary is so amazing this video is gonna go into a part two video this is gonna be a four part video series I'm doing on this Janet documentary but she really taps into so much uh, most of which uh, I was so glad it was a lot of hitting gems she kind of put a little bit of her music within the documentary while explaining we seen a lot more stuff about her family the stuff about her you you know being secretly married and you know uh, them not her family not knowing about it but finding out about it just so many juicy stuff y'all know how much i love janet and stay tuned for the rest on my part two video that i'm doing hey seeing janet get emotional gets me emotional and, and, and she had a lot of emotional moments. You know, the part I thought was real cute when she visited Gary, came back to Gary and seen uh, her brothers uh, on, on, on the picture that, or the, the, the painting that she saw outside the building, she started crying. Then when she really tapped deep into the, the James the Barge situation, she started crying and she couldn't even finish, you know, half of what she was saying. But I get what she was, you know, what she was saying, you know, she really tried to stay by his side and he was just out doing drugs and being and she was so young but she was in love with the guy and y'all know how I feel about James Renee and Jermaine Dupree y'all know how I, I mean I, I'm just gonna say how I feel about them I didn't like anybody she was with and, 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 and you know um but <laughs> it's just me but um, I just feel like, you know, the relationships that she had with them, they just didn't last long. But she really, really taps deep into a lot of stuff about her relationship drama, which is, I know was hard for her. But I'm so proud uh, um, that she did it because we know that Janet doesn't speak out, uh, never spoke out about this type of stuff. We know she talks a lot about the baby rumors. It was a lot of stuff about uh, her having secret children. And I'm glad she finally put that to the table and finally put that out there that she didn't have any children you know especially when she was young you know the thing about her you know gaining weight there was a lot of stuff about that situation she couldn't have her say so and what she could do 
you know, in her career. But when she finally got to a certain age, you know, uh, uh, after, you know, leaving her dad, uh, 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 being from under her dad and him managing her, you know, her going to Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis, it was a lot of stuff about that. Uh, that I was glad that Janet put to light about, you know, she wanted to become her own woman, honey. And when she got older, she wasn't having none of that. Uh, this is my, this is my say so. So thank God Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis came into her life because we wouldn't have control. We wouldn't have Rhythm Nation. We wouldn't have Velvet Rope, bitch. We wouldn't have All For You. We wouldn't have Demita Joan. Uh, okay. Uh, and then, uh, so on after that, we wouldn't have Unbreakable. You know, uh, I, I feel like Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis are her go-to uh, with anything in music. They are the ones who understand Janet to the T. And you see a lot of uns footage, a lot of unreleased footages on this documentary about them kind of, you know, getting to their little debates and arguments that was kind of funny. You know, it just showed that Janet is a diva. And we know she is. She's a Taurus, y'all know. Um, but yes. I, 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 Janet, oh my God, I just love her so much. I cannot wait to continue to review the rest of this documentary, y'all. So stay tuned. Part one was amazing. I loved it. <laughs> we are back on part uh the the part two review of janet's documentary the janet jackson doc which uh uh, uh aired yesterday y'all i had got off work late but i finished it i watched it stayed up past the time i was really supposed to go to bed but it's a good thing i'm off work today because i get the chance to review with this review the rest of this review might go into maybe three videos because y'all this is a lot i have to cover oh my god part two was just as juicy as part one Janet really opened up a lot of, uh, 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 of things that were, that people didn't understand, but she really brought it, you know, to the surface of why uh, it seemed like her career was kind of going into a turmoil when Demita Cho came out. You know, uh, we know about the Super Bowl incident. We know about uh, uh, the thing with Justin Timberlake. It was purely an accident. I don't want to dive too deep into it, but that was what it was about. Uh, it was basically as though the media was trying to shadow Janet. Now, this was the thing I really didn't know too much about because, you know, uh, I knew this, I know Janet was always loved and admired, but... It was so much that I learned, you know, and then she really tapped deep into her about Michael Jackson and her, how it really seemed like they had drifted far, far away from each other. But when they did Scream, when she did Scream, she decided that she wanted to do something for him. But it was as though when they were on set doing the video, it was as though, uh, uh, they were trying to separate them apart. Now, that part I didn't know because in the video, it looked like they would have had so much fun, but behind the scenes of it was really sad. They had them separate in separate parts or separate segments of the video. They, everything started to make sense about how everything, it was only very, it was only so little that they had them together. They was mainly far apart in most of the video, I noticed too, you know. Uh, so, Janet said she was really, really sad because it was as though they were trying to put them and a competition to uh towards one another so that part was really interesting and sad to me but i love the video footage with her and michael it, uh, it really really bitch don't even make me start crying because i miss michael so much but i really really got into the rest of this docuseries but baby the rest of these uh uh uh, uh the rest of the videos that i'm finna to do is just diving more deep into this janet jackson documentary yes y'all i really got into it so much more that i need to talk about yes y'all <laughs> i loved it i loved it i loved it i loved it And you know, we also learn about how so much stuff in Michael Jackson's career overshadowed Janet's career. You know, with the stuff about the uh, uh, the, the child abuse and sexual abuse and stuff like that. I don't want to talk about that. Y'all know how I feel about when it comes to anything with Michael and Janet. I'm very, I get, I get very uh, defensive when it comes to Michael and Janet. I don't want to talk about that, but. 
some of the stuff about Michael um, kind of overshadowed Janet's career. This is what I learned. You know, uh, I didn't know about the Coca-Cola deal and they, they, they voted Janet out because of that. You know, it was just so much that Janet was trying to do within a little bit after... Uh, uh, in the midst of the the Janet uh, 1993 and the Velvet Rope era, it was so much stuff going on, you know. But man, oh my God, she tapped into so much. I, I can't say every single thing for the people who haven't seen it, but she really did. I really want to dive deeper to Renee. And, I, 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 and it's about time I finally see the, 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 the actual control of uh, freak that he was towards Janet. I did not like uh, how uh, uh, everything, uh, every time they were together, everything seemed controlled. They actually controlled. And you know, when Janet talked about control, she talked about taking control of her life. But when you put it into uh, uh, to, to terms of how her and Renee were together, he wanted to con literally control her. And then the stuff about him being a pill popper, I, 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 oh my God. Like, I, 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 I seen the change in their relationship as, as they were going on in the documentary. And, you know, um, uh, uh, I believe that's what the song What About speaks about, how Renee was very controlling, but he was also abusive. And, you know, she didn't dive too deep into that part, but I know the majority of the Velvet Rope revolved around uh, uh, past issues, you know, uh, dealing with relationships and dealing with the stuff that she did. But, you know, we also learn about, you know, how Janet uh, in the 1993 era, how she was literally one of the first ones that brought out uh, sexuality for black women. You know, we seen that she wanted to, you know, add something more sexier. Uh, she was, you know, always talking about social and justice and, and, and empowerment, but she wanted to actually add something different. And that's what made her a, a, a sex symbol, baby. That's what made her the best at that because Janet Cross barriers for so many women in the industry today and uh oh my god like she just went through so much janet <sighs> this is when i started getting emotional i really didn't want to get emotional But y'all just don't understand. I really didn't want to get emotional doing this video, but I knew it was coming because okay, uh, Janet really, uh, Janet really opened up so many doors for a lot of people in the industry. And uh, that's what I'm glad she covered in this documentary. But um, it just showed the struggle of a human being, you know, a black woman. And people take that for granted. And a lot of people did that to Janet in her career. And uh, I just really, I got emotional, you know, a lot. Look at this. Because um, it really, uh, it really, really shed a lot of light, and it should to people who knew, uh, who didn't know much about Janet. But I, oh my God, uh, <laughs> um, um, uh, Lord, I'm trying to get, my, I'm trying to wrap my head around, I'm trying to finish up. Um, uh, 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 I'm just glad that uh, uh, we dived into, we fast forwarded to the stuff with Renee up until when she met Jermaine Dupree. Now, please don't get me started with Jermaine Dupree because he, I felt like, oh my God, he was reckless and she described their relationship. It was because he cheated on her. You know, uh, Janet was such uh, so good to his uh, behind and he did her dirty and I hated that part. You know, I never could stand Jermaine Dupree anyway. But anyway, I'm I'm I, I'm glad they finally put that to the table of everything that happened with the Jermaine Dupree situation. Uh, oh my God! Uh, whoo! Uh, it was just so much stuff. But the the I'm so glad. Uh, that, uh, you know, she uh, shed more light about the stuff that went on with her and Michael and, 
just, uh, oh my God, everything. I could just go on and on and on and on and on because part two of the documentary got really, um, part two of the documentary got uh, juicy, baby. And I'm telling you, I loved it. I, 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 I really, really loved it so much. I, I, Janet, oh my God. I could go on and on and on and on and on. What else? What else? What else? They show, you know, footages of her and Jermaine Dupri. They show footages about, you know, her 40th birthday. They show uh, a lot of stuff about her son, you know, about her being a mom and things like that. I was just... I really want to dive deep into, like, the surprise moments, too. She, you know, uh, talked a lot about poetic justice and how I felt work And Regina King spoke out about how she liked working with... Uh, Janet and how she saw uh so much of Janet in, in her and I loved it. I like uh Q-Tip was on there. He had a, a surprising moment. He was saying he was so happy he kissed her. Tupac, uh, they showed a footage of him and how he talked about. Oh my gosh, she was a great kisser. Uh, those are like the like the fun moments. We seen a lot about Tina Landon, who was one of my favorite uh dancers, uh, choreographies of most of Janet's uh choreography and from the Velvet Rope tour. Um, and Gil, who is one, also one of my favorite dancers, uh, uh, who she originally called them the kids back then, but they are her longtime friends. They have been friends with her forever. They dance with her. Gil Diodano, I, I always think I say his name wrong, but he is one of my favorite, uh, he's one of my favorite dancers. He's, he's, a, he's also, now uh, he's been creating, uh, now that he doesn't, he no longer dances with Janet, but he's creates a lot of her tour, uh, tour setups and tour stage, and he does the creative directory, he does a lot of her uh, costumes and things like that, uh, and, and Tina Landon, I think, still kind of works with Janet, you know, even though they don't dance, but they always still support her. Uh, it's just that Janet really took us on a journey, and this is what I always wanted for her, uh, because uh, she deserves it, but yes, it was a lot of good moments, um, now I see now where, you know, a lot of the women today, like Beyonce and Tiana Taylor and Tanache, uh, how they, you know, uh, 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 take a, a bit of Janet with them and they take it to another level. So I really appreciate the love that a lot of the black women in the industry uh, 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 show support to Janet and they, they, because they, they love her. Janet really opened up so many doors for people and people don't realize that she is the queen of pop. And I dare somebody convince me otherwise. And for the people who uh, 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 have hated on her and have tried to shadow her career, shame on you. Because Janet has uh, uh, done so much for people and, and uh, uh, spoke, you know, she she she's done a lot. She opened up so many doors. She is one of the first uh, that I knew growing up uh, who opened up doors. She opened up doors for me, you know, to have a, a voice because I'm different and because I uh, 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 have a little uh, difference in me. So. She really brings out the best of people. She brought out the best of me for years. Uh, and uh, oh my God, this documentary was just amazing. Uh, Janet, I love you so much. I do. And yes, y'all, in conclusion, you know, Janet's life now, you know, uh, she just shows that she's only a woman. And she's only, uh, you know, uh, been through a lot. And she's only going through her struggles. And she's only, you know, grown better from uh, learning from her mistakes and past mistakes to how she is now. She's a mother. She's happy with her life. She's, um, you know, uh, uh, happy that uh, she has the hugest fan base in the world right now. And she's so happy that she gets the love and support that she does from her family. You know, it's so good to see. I, I was so happy to see a lot of moments from Katherine Jackson. Uh, and, you know, them kind of talking about Michael and how Katherine got emotional about Michael. And, you know, didn't want to say much about it. But, you know, uh, I, I enjoyed just seeing Janice life through and through on this documentary about her and Randy being so close. And how I'm so happy that Brandy is also uh, the executive producer of this documentary as well. And just learning so much. We got a hint of Janet's new song called Love I Love at the end of the end credits. Uh, which I cannot wait for her to release the full version because I'm so excited. I like the damn song already. And I can't wait to hear the full version of it because I like this sound. I like the sound of it. It's different. Um... 
But yes, I like it. It, 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 it. I love it. It kind of gives me a little bit of a discipline vibe to, to it. Uh, but yes, y'all, I cannot wait to see what else Jenna has in store this year. In conclusion, this documentary should shed a whole lot of light on people. And I know I said this like 20 times in this review, but it should. Uh, Janet, I'll just will always love forever and it shows because uh anytime i have been a fan of her since five years old to now 29 years old and i'm almost 30 that really says a lot it really shows uh, uh, uh and not just her michael too it really shows how those two really set a impact a uh, tone you know for uh, a lot of things that i went through and it helped me a lot. It really did. And you know, yes, I know I'm not perfect, but you know, I've always seen a lot of Janet and Michael in myself because I, uh, 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 they wouldn't have caught me how they did as a child to now. And, and, and now I just am so eternally grateful for my family that uh, really got me on to Janet and really, you know, opened up my doors because I was real young and I'm just so grateful. I am. Janet, I, I love you. I enjoyed doing this, uh, this review, covering it. Amazing.